I am having a conundrum. Is it too early to plant sunflowers? It's May 1st, we're in Michigan, and all signs point to it's time to plant, plant, plant. But historically, around Mother's Day or the full moon in May, we usually have a frost. And if we have a frost and I plant these, guess what? We're, we're done. So I want to look into a few wives' tales that people go by um, when determining if it's time to plant. And mm, I'm probably going to plant sunflower seeds today. So let's get to it. And as far as wives' tales, we've heard, you know, wait until the robins have laid their eggs. Wait until the plum tree has blossoms on it. Wait until the full moon in May. Wait until after Mother's Day. It, it just all kind of depends. I've lived on this farm for most of my life, and we've seen frost at all times of May. And my dad even experienced a frost in June, believe it or not, when he was younger. So you just never know. But statistically, looking at the forecast and everything, it looks like we have a shot to plant early this uh, spring and not have a frost. And also, for the blueberries that I'm looking at, that's amazing news as well. So to get started, I need to figure out how big this field actually is. I need to figure that out so I can estimate or calculate how many sunflower seeds I'm going to plant per row, and then how many rows I'm going to have in the field. So let's get to figuring out how big this field is. All right, Whew. the field is 312 feet by 75 feet. So now I need to calculate how many rows I can get and then how many sunflowers per row. For all you math nerds out there, that comes out to 23,400 feet or roughly 0.5 acres. All right, so spacing, I know that we're gonna have 25 rows. Cool there, right? The not so cool part is I grossly underestimated the amount of sunflower seeds that we need. Um, I got roughly 2,000 and based on their spacing, which is four to six inches apart, uh, we could be doing, you know, if we did six inches, that'd be 600 seeds in one row. So I think to get us a good spacing, at least make the field look full, I think we're gonna do one sunflower every two feet. So that would be 312 divided by 2, so that comes out to, oh man, 156, so 156 seeds per row. And then I said times 25, right? So let's, what's that bring us? I haven't done multiplication like this in forever. So 0, here's the 3, 20, 3,900 seeds. Uh, <laughs> that's still not cutting it. So ooh, let's do, oh. Let's do every three feet. Let's try every three feet. So that would be 100 seeds roughly per row times 25. I think we might get there. Let me count the seeds. 2,500 seeds. So yeah, every three feet and then do, that would be about 125 rows. And we got a little bit shorter there. I think we have enough. Let me count all the seeds. So the amount of seeds that I have should work out pretty well to keep this field foolish looking. And uh, yeah, so pump there. But I want it to be aesthetically looking also, so I want the rows to be spaced evenly. And the blueberry bushes are exactly north-south, and I'm going to use the center of the crown on both sides of the field to set my stick for the row. So I also have string. Yeah, so picture this. You'll see it in a second. I'm going to have a stick here, stick on the other side, the string running all the way down, and that will be my line to plant. And then I will use that to move over so this is aesthetically pleasing to the eye because I want great photos here. I have a surprise that I'm going to do for my wife inside of it. And yeah, just overall I'm anal when it comes to things looking aesthetically pleasing. I know that's not always possible on a farm, but I, I have to be aesthetic. So I need a tape measure. I got to build and cut some sticks and then get the string ready. I cannot find the measuring tape anywhere. So I'm just going to pace out four paces from the center of the crown over. Uh, I'm going to use these sticks for my stakes and string. Let's get this started, see if I can keep it taunt enough to uh, get my line. Alright, let's see if this works. Uh, 
that kind of works surprisingly well. <laughs> so strings all the way down. Obviously, you know, it looks a little bit off right now just because of how I plowed, but distance wise from the center of the blueberry row over it's four paces or 12 feet, um, I feel pretty good about it. So I'm gonna mix up the, seed, the seeds next. These are all different seeds. So I'm just gonna randomly pour them into the cup, shake it around. That should give me a pretty equal distribution or chance of it being random throughout the entire field. Ooh, got them all mixed up. What a beautiful day, by the way. Wow, it's uh, pretty surreal. This is actually a monumental moment. Um, we're planting uh, our first crop on our uh, on our farm. So I'm gonna use this uh, planter, this handy dandy spacing planter I got off of Amazon. Link is in the description below but uh, it will help me with the spacing. So once again, I'm gonna go three feet in between each sunflower seed, and I'm gonna sow it half an inch deep. First row is complete, and it is killing my back, bending all the way down <laughs> and putting that seed in there. If you know of a better uh, sunflower seed planter, let me know. Um, but for now, I just took some blue duct tape and a broom that was in the back of my father-in-law's truck, and I'm using that so I don't have to bend down. Uh, wife and little man are on their way here, and that should make uh, this go much quicker. Otherwise, without them, I don't know if I'd get all 25 of these rows done in one day. I got a helper. I got two helpers that actually showed up. Say hi. Hi. And while we're walking back, look at this. We have blossoms on the blueberries. What a beautiful day. Because mom watched a funny video where this person made a school a picnic table where the schools can eat oh, on this. a Daddy's picnic gonna make table. one. We're gonna put we'll it in a tree. The family is here to help out, and I made another adjustment. Uh, best I could come up with what's available here. So we have a dog throwing toy that we tape to our planter uh, to make it a little more ergonomical and quick in the process. So with uh, the wife and little man here, we just did a row in no time flat, and I believe again that we have enough time to get this entire field planted before the sun goes down. All right, let's get this one done, guys. That is so much quicker with their help. I'm curious to see how long that actually took once I edit this. I'll, I'll put it in uh, right below here how long it took us to plant that row. That sweet trick that was for you guys he wanted to show off his skills to you guys and gals so what we decided to do is we're gonna do we're exactly halfway through the field we're gonna leave it halfway that way heaven forbid there is a frost we got the other field that we can plant yet and then we can just replant this field I think it's a smart choice and to answer the question that I posed at the start of the video and in the title I do not believe it's too early to plant this year. That doesn't mean that I would advocate that we plant May 1st of every year. So if you know of a better way to plant sunflower seeds than the by hand manual method we were doing that took forever, please comment below and uh, share a link to it. We would love to try it because we're going to do a lot more of these in the future than just this little half acre field. So until the next one, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.